Let's talk about how to achieve a flow state. Well, what is a flow state? Uh, well, so a guy by the name of Mihai Cheek sent me high. Uh, did studies on this for for years and years and years, decades, and he, and he's he's the guy that popularized uh, the idea of flow. A ten year study by McKinsey found that flow state, when in this state of flow, executives were five times more productive, and that's not just true of executives; it's true of many of us. Most of you have no idea, though, what the flow state really feels like looks like, smells like, sounds like, and so therefore you couldn't know how to get into it if you don't know what it is and you're missing out. So we're going to fix that today. So I want to break down what is flow, what the state of flow is. So flow is a mental state that you are capable of reaching when you are completely immersed in a rewarding task or activity. I want you to think of the zone, right? Uh, Michael Jordan used to famously talk about being in the zone. He'd get on a hot streak. The golfers talk about this as well, where everything is just, they're just, everything's just going right. Well, this is a form of flow for an athlete as well. In fact, it very much is flow. Uh, now, let me, let me explain how it feels, and, and then we'll continue to break this down. So for me personally, when I am uh, on this program and and, and I'm on the, the cameras are rolling, everything's being recorded, I'm live, I'm at a live event, uh, maybe I'm coaching someone live in front of thousands of people, uh, I'm on television uh, and I'm being asked a question, I don't know what's coming my way, and I've got to give a sound bite in 30 seconds. That feels like ecstasy to me. It is a mental ecstasy it is i'm excited about it i am wildly engaged in it i mean i have an adhd guy off the charts and i will tell you that i don't know where my keys are half the time uh i've walked out of the studio before left my cell phone in here my computer i mean i'm a disaster but you put me in a situation watch this folks and this is my definition of flow for me when i am Having to perform under pressure, I am in a state of flow. So here are the hallmarks of true flow. It's a total lack of self-consciousness. You, you're not thinking your way through a task. You are instinctively just doing the task. You're not thinking about the performance. You are the performance. Enjoyment. You have to enjoy something to be completely immersed in it. How many of you think of something right now that you have to do at work and it sucks, and you you think about it and you go, I don't want to do it, and then when I'm in the middle of it, I want to stop it, and I, instead of can't wait to get to it, I can't wait to get through it. And, 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 and we all have that stuff we have to do. It's called being an adult. So you got to have enjoyment. But then persistence. It helps you offset any frustrations and you step into the task fully and you're not worried about the frustrations. You've embraced the frustrations because you love it. So how then do we begin to put ourselves in a place to where we can trigger you, if you will, a flow state? So think about what we just talked about, tasks that are immersive. I'm completely immersed in it because I enjoy it. They're rewarding and they're challenging. That's what this is. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi said this. I pulled this up on my computer. He said, the best moments in our lives are not the passive, receptive, relaxing times. The best moments usually occur if a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. Did you catch that? That's the idea about challenging challenging but possible so the idea here is we want to stack our day with that type of work work that is challenging meaning i am challenged it's not easy it's challenging 
it's enjoyful. It is a joyful task. I, I am in a state of enjoyment, and I'm in a state of challenge at the same time. And so keep in mind, if it is difficult, challenging, but also rewarding, now we've got a chance to, to experience flow. And think about how, how soul-sucking, for some of you, your job is right now. For others, there are times in your professional career, and I've had it, where it's so soul-sucking because it's so boring and easy. If you're bored at work, I got news for you. You're not challenged at work. You know this. There's no effort. If you're bored, you aren't enjoying what you're doing. So boredom is a result of the lack of challenge and the lack of enjoyment. So let's talk about what I need to be challenged. Let's just kind of give you a, because I've kind of got my list. and I'm going, okay, I need to be under pressure to perform. So that's speaking, creating, the creative part of the process of content, then delivering the content. Is it writing a blog? Is it coming up with show content? Is it writing a book? So, so I need to be communicating, creating content. I need to be coaching someone where there's pressure again that they're not where they want to be, and, and I have to deliver for them some enlightenment and encouragement. That's pressure. I'm wired that way. Some of you are very process-driven. I'm pressure-driven, performance-driven. So if you're like me, you got to go, okay, i got to perform under pressure, and I'm at, my, I'm at my best. Some of you go, I don't want a pressure situation. I like to be in the preparation side of things, and I'm at my best when I'm preparing, and I'm process-driven. Great, whatever that is. But you need to be spending the majority of your day completely immersed in something that you're good at doing, something that challenges you, and something that is rewarding, right? That's why I have the the process of teaching you talent, passion, mission. In other words, if you use what you do best, talent, to do work you love, passion, to produce results that matter to your mission, then I can tell you something. You're going to be immersed. It's going to be challenging because you want more. And it will be rewarding. So most commonly, this part right here going, okay, how do I find a role, a seat on a bus that allows me to do this? Well, you're going to have to look, and sometimes you're going to have to be patient to work your way up, to work your way up. So you got to go, okay, look, I'm not here now, but if I can get a role where I am using my talent and I am challenged, I may not have the most rewarding work, but it's rewarding enough because I'm challenged. So it doesn't have to be, you know, the most compelling work and compelling result. But what it needs to be is at least challenging enough and involving your talents to where you're challenged, but your talent will arise. You get the training, you get the experience, and now you can step through it. So I want you to be able to find a spot where you can lock into that flow state because that is where physically, mentally, and emotionally you are at your best. And, the, and it's not just those amazing benefits, but you're going to get promoted. You will be able to recreate this process. And the more you do this, find yourself in a state of flow because you've put yourself in a place where you can be in a state of flow. Everybody's going to see it. You're going to be rewarded. And as you keep getting rewarded because you're operating in a state of flow, watch this. You're able to then dictate and say, I want to do this. Here's where I want to do it. And because you've done such a great job, you get to dictate, hey, I'm going to do this. And people say, yes, we will pay you to do this. And now you are in control of your professional future. It starts with getting into a state of flow. What is that state? We're here to help. This is The Ken Coleman Show. 